Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and sequencing and prioritization uh, in your narrative and understanding what is of true value. And once you prioritize something, when does it happen? All right, so I've been thinking about this from the perspective of narrative, uh, specifically for Dungeon Masters and understanding how what you put in your story at each specific sequence is incredibly important. And I think one of the reasons why is we are true, we, I mean, just so fast, we are heading into a world where um, prioritization is so outrageously upside down, it's shocking. And, and, and I think we're, we're very much looking at, do I need to, exp do I need to even sell you on this idea? Common sense is dying. There's just no two ways about this. So what's really been putting this in my mind is this new show, Marriage or Mortgage. So I saw, you know, so some members of my family were watching this and I was like, what is this? And they explained it to me and they said, this show is couples who are not married saying, hey, do you want to spend $50,000? And that number could go up a little bit or down a little bit. But do you want to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a marriage and get your wedding done and get a really dope, awesome wedding? Or do you want to buy a house together before you're married, right? So you can take that same amount, that really big pile of money, and get yourself a house or get yourself a wedding, right? And I'm like, well, why is this a show? The answer should always be the same for every single couple, right? It's always the same, right? Now, I've been married 29 years and I got four kids, right? And to me, anyone who would even wonder what the right answer would, would be is outrageously foolish. I'll say that flat out. Like, this should not even be a question. And the fact that you could sell this as a show today means that there are a huge amount, number, in my opinion, of people who are just engaging in outrageous foolishness. So let's talk this through, okay? So so you have fiancés, okay? Two fiancés, right? And they have a choice. They are going to prioritize and they're going to sequence, right? They, do we do the wedding first and then get the mortgage? Or do we get the mortgage first and then get the wedding, all right? Well, there's no question here, right? The prioritization and the sequencing are tied. They're braided like a wired cord, right? Uh, so here's the issue, right? Every single couple, in my opinion, who says we should buy a house together before we have a wedding, that is outrageously foolish. And the reason why is, okay... They're assuming they will remain together, but they're making that. But by saying we're not going to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a wedding, we're going to buy a house together. We're going to make a, a purchase together before we celebrate our togetherness. Right. So basically two fiancés. Right. They're like, hey, we are interested in marrying each other. Now we could spend the money celebrating our union and declaring to the world that our love is worth celebration, right? We say that to each other. We say, hey, my love for you is worth celebration. We're going to celebrate it with our family. We're going to celebrate with our community. We're going to celebrate with our chosen family. All those, any of those, whatever mix you want of those, right? When you make that choice, when you prioritize and say, our love is worth celebration, you're going to buy a house together. Trust me, right? Because, and guess what? Your community is going to help you. They're going to help you find the right realtor. If they don't help you find the right realtor, once you get your house, they're going to help you build it up, right? They're going to help you invest uh, value into it and make it comfortable, right? They can help. Uh, I have a friend who just his neighbor, his neighbor's brother bought his house, right? And you know why? Because his neighbor's brother is close to him. They have a good relationship. They celebrate things together, right? And, um, and like, the best real estate deals are brought together aren't even done on the market. They're done by networking, right? You know how networking happens? By saying, this is important to me. This is important to you. We're going to celebrate this together, right? So when two fiancés say, our love is worth the celebration with us, with our family, with our community, with our chosen family. And it's worth thousands of dollars to celebrate it because our love is going to be forever. We will be with each other until we die, right? 
That's the right sequencing and that's the right prioritization. They're saying this love is worth celebration. Now let's, let's look at the other side of it, right? Let's take this money and our the celebration of our love is worth nothing. Nothing, right? We'll celebrate it after we buy this tinder box, right? This pile of wall, you know, of um, wood and plasterboard. It's nothing. It's a, it's, it's a thing. It's just a box that humans live in, right? And so they're going to say, hey, our love is not worth celebration. Let's take that money and put it into this thing that can burn to the ground 24 hours after we, after we buy it, right? And now we have no celebration of our love and we have literally nowhere to live. It's a thing, right? You know what a wedding is? A wedding is a thousand memories, right? It's a hundred people with a hundred different views of the celebration of love. It is forever, right? It is a celebration of union, of love. There's nothing more valuable than that. And it can't burn. Nothing can take away a single memory. It's locked in all those people's brains that this union was worth celebration. But if you're like, let's forget that and let's go buy this thing together, right? Now you have a pile of trouble, right? And you told each other as fiancés that your love is not worth an ounce of celebration. It's worth nothing, right? What's important is this wooden box, right? Which, frankly, most people buy a starter home and literally trade up, right? But your wedding, that's it, man. Your initial celebration, that's all you get, right? And you can't redo it. People try, you can't, right? You will always remember your first, what, how you chose to come together for the first time. And this is critical in Dungeons and Dragons, okay? When you bring quests to your players, you want them to have a very real choice. And what they choose to do first Time is of the essence for adventures. They don't have all the time in the world. They've got to choose the important thing first. And they have to use wisdom to see what has true value. And I'll tell you right now, the celebration of love is far more valuable than the, some stupid tinderbox that can go up and that, that can be destroyed literally by a single match. Right? You could buy the biggest house in the world. It could be destroyed by a match. Right? You can have a wedding... Uh, you know, three days ago, and not a single memory can be stolen from anyone. It is what is permanent, right? And this is critical for adventurers. You have to choose, you have to help them to see what's of true value and what's complete nonsense. What should be sequenced first and what should come later, right? And so when you put decisions in front of your characters, right? Make sure, make sure that you're giving them the right clues to understand poor choices and good choices. Now, your players can make poor choices. It's okay. I, th I think some of the people in the show made some very poor choices, right? Um, but your, ch your players should understand that sequencing and prioritization are intimately linked, right? All that's my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think of this. How do we build Dungeons & Dragons missions, quests, that, that really sell urgency? This is, what's imp this is forever and important and needs to get done. And this is nonsense that doesn't matter to anyone and won't change the realm. How do we communicate that? Because I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be easy because there's a lot of confusion today. I'm, I'm just shocked at the amount of confusion I see. All that's my opinion. What do you think? How do you do this in your games? How do you communicate? This is of real value. This is of this is nothing, right? This is this is a temporary foible, right? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful morning.